Reed Cornelius. Insert your favorite home run call here. Number 17 on the year for the thrill. We're tied at one. The next batter, it's the always dangerous Craig Paquette. And Paquette, he's launching that way. Back-to-back -back home runs, 2-1 Cardinales. Top nine, we're all tied at two. Clark facing Antonio Alfonseca, the NL save leader. And Clark just doesn't care. Sticks it into the gap, a ringing double. Jim Edmonds, he's coming all the way around to score. Three two cards, and they go on to win this one four to two. Clark has been a godsend. 15 hits in his last seven games. Edmonds snaps an 0 for 21 slump with a couple hits. The Cardinals have rebuilt their eight and a half game lead over the winner showcase material. Glavin looking to prevent a sweep by the Reds' first batter of the game. Pokey Reese missed. Two batters later, Ken Griffey Jr. That's just great location there. And remember, kids, you hustle in and you hustle out. Great defense in this game. Bottom first, Braves leading one nothing. Andres Galarragi got himself a little base hit. Wait, no, he doesn't. There's Pokey up with it and makes the fine throw. And they get Galarraga. More defense in the third. Junior, as Tom gets his bat on it, slices it, but Reggie Sanders is there to make the nice diving catch. Even gets some grass stains to show for it. Bottom third, 2-1 Braves. B.J. Suroff on second. He's running after Galarraga singles. Alex Ochoa going to hose him down. Suroff out at the plate. We watch again. Suroff's going to complain, but you know, you argue with the ump, it's like arguing with a compass. You can't win. Bottom five, two outs, 3-1 Braves lead. Suroff up the middle, and there's Reese again. This time, they'll go throw. Dimitri Young can't handle it. Reese upset after his second error of the night. Pokey's 14th E of the year. Ruled a single and an error. Error's going to be costly. Elmer descends. He is not a cat person. Galarraga buries his 25th of the year. Two-run shot. Pokey's bumming. 5-1. Braves lead. See Pokey bum. Glavin in control the rest of the way in the eighth. Brian Honor admires strike three. Still in the eighth. Glavin gets Reese again. He goes down on strikes twice. He was 0 for 3. And two outs in the ninth. The complete game. Yes, sir. Dimitri Young. That's going to center field. You know Andrew Jones has got that. So Glavin, he's happy. First 18-game winner in the National League. The Braves win it by a count of 5-2. They hang on to their share of first in the NL East. Glavin was sharp. Complete game three. Hitter, two runs, five strikeouts. Retiring the last 11 Reds in order. He's frozen Mets. Daryl Hamilton dropping one down. Bill Spires has nothing to do with it. And Benny Agbayani winds up at second. Now, we rarely show a well-executed bunt, but offense was scarce in this one. Chris Holt uncorks one. Agbayani scores. It's 1-0 Mets. Rick Reed throwing air balls. Jeff Bagwell dismissed. Reed is a craftsman. He's an artisan. Mitch Molusky, he goes away. Bottom of the seventh. Lenny Harris comes up. Two on and one out. Harris. Grounder to Bagwell. To Tim Bogar. Back to Chris Holt. It's a 361. Holt, a la Pete Rose, spiking it out of the infield. Top nine, Armando Benitez. Gets Julio Lugo. Next batter's Bagwell. He's having a rough highlight. And then Lance Berkman. Benitez finishing with a flourish, striking out the side. The Mets win 1 0. A run in the bottom of the first, and then 15 zeros. The Astros have the worst record in baseball when it comes to one run games. On two outs against David Cohn and Edgar. He was one for five and left six on base. Coney, five hits, one run, and five and two thirds. Bottom seven, four one Yanks. Mike Cameron off Doc Gooden with the bases loaded. It's deep, not deep enough. David Justice is there. Mariners leaving loaded. Still four one Yanks. Bottom nine, five three two on. Mariano Rivera. It's Al Martin. He was 0 for five, stranded seven. Runner still in the corner. Mike Cameron. Derek Jeter's there over to Luis Soho. They get one, but A-Rod is able to score, so it's a 5-4 game. Next batter, Rolo Banez. sees the go-ahead winning run. Ain't gonna happen. 4-3 if you're scoring the play. 5-4 if you're scoring the game. Seattle skid continues. They've lost 14 of 17. Mariano Rivera, fourth straight season with at least for Brad Fulmer. He's a bad man with a stick in his hands. His 27th of the season, one of two homers for Fulmer. Three Goose Toronto. Very next batter, lather, rinse, repeat. Tony Batista. The guy weighs 185 pounds, soaking wet, and that's his 37th of the season. 100 RBIs for Batista. It's 4 0 Jays. It's 5 0 Jays. David Wells, count along with me. 5 4 3. He gets Ben Molina to ground into the double play. Wells cruising, looking for number 19. Bottom four, Mo Vaughn. Sticks went into right. Mo has visions of a leg double, and when you see him run, you 
Oh, oh yeah. That's a bad idea. Oh, babe. Mo is lunch meat. He's Kato Salami. Toronto goes on to win 11-2. The final, the Jays have won seven of their last nine. Wells picks up that major league leading 19. Rambling after the Giants in the West. Top first, Bravo Steve Finley. Finley to deep center and right center. Oh, a couple bombs on the night for that guy. 33 on the year. Randy was mean. Bottom first, Will Carrero going down. Next batter is Milton Bradley. No, sir. Bottom second, Johnson making Vlad look bad on the junk outside. Next batter, Jeff Blum, absolutely nuts. We go to the bottom of the fourth, five nothing D-backs. Runners on second and third with no outs on Johnson, but Randy works his way out of it, gets Blum again. Next batter is Fernando Seganal. Johnson reaches back and gets him there. 10 Ks on the night for the unit. He scrambles out of the jam. Bottom nine, Johnson looking for the shutout. Vlad Guerrero, that's not going to do much damage. Jay Bell going to gobble it up out there in shallow right, and the D-backs win it. 7 nothing. the final. So much for Randy Johnson's slump. He beats the Expos for the first time in his career, his third shutout this season. On third inning, Ortiz giving Jason Kendall some hard cheese. Kendall fan three times. To the fourth we go. No score. Check that. Barry Bonds yanking one. And that's his 39th home run. 26 of those have been solo shots. That's a career high for Bonds. When we go to the sixth, Bonds on third for Ellis Burks. And he'll find left field with that one. Burks batting 351. It's 2-0 Giants. Trouble for Ortiz in the sixth. Base is bloated. So he rears back and hits 95 on the gun. Emil Brown vanquished. More Ortiz in the seventh. Alex Ramirez. No, can't touch the outside stuff. Give that man a hug. He's a winner. Giants take it 2-0. Russ Ortiz has won his last six decisions. Relaxing after his win on Tuesday. Mike Soratke, Eric Chavez. Fly ball, B3. Chavez, 20th of the season. Oakland leads it 2-1. Top seven, same score, 2-1. Base is loaded. Jim Messier, Jose Valentin. You know, it doesn't have to be long to be effective. That gets down in front of Ben Grieve. Chris Singleton, Mark Johnson score. The White Sox lead it 3-2. Let's go to the top of the ninth. One out, base is Chuck. Sox leading 4-3. Jason Isringhausen to Meglio Ordonez. Oops, no mound charging here. Mark Johnson scores. Sox lead 5-3. Next batter, Harold Baines. Isringhausen. It's ball four, more of the traditional free pass. Ray Durham scores. Isringhausen, third of an inning pitch, three walks, three earned runs. The Sox led 6-3 and win it. 8-3. The Sox run their major league best road record to four the finish line. Bottom six, Dave Ferba facing Ricky Lede. Hits one to Kenny Lofton and Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton is judging a ball. That happens about as often as the sun comes up in the West. Lede, two base here. He would eventually come around to score one zip. Rangers, this baseball offers the chance for redemption. Lofton off Doug Davis, the runner on second. He's trying. Will Cordero ahead of Lede's throw. The score is tied at one. Top eight, three one. Runners on second and third. And Kenny Lofton must feel really, really bad about the air because there he is doing it again. Three hits, three ribs for Kenny. Jim Tome, Einar Diaz score. Randy, Manny Ramirez, yeah. Freebird! <laughs> Indians win at 5 3. Indians stretch their walk hard lead to a game and a half of the Red Sox. Dave Berba, the third straight Indian starter in this series to go. Helton, Bottenfield. Helton. Good height, just not far enough. Doug Glanville's there, long out. Helton's average, 3 9 5. Bottom second, Tomas Perez against Julian Tavares, and Helton wears a mitt. It's a double play. Still, one zip Rockies. They get Marlon Anderson at the plate. Top six, 4 1 fills. Helton. This time he gets a hold of Bottenfield. The bases were Chucks to start the merry-go-round. Ben Petrick scores. Former driller Jeff Fry scores. Juan Pierre scores. 18 doubles in August for Helton. 4-4 game. Top 11. 4-4. No longer. The rookie Ben Petrick off Wayne Gomes. His third homer of the year. You still have to carry the luggage and video equipment though, rookie. Rockies win at 5-4 in the 11th. Recapping. Helton's line. One for four. A walk. Three ribbies. He averaged 3-9-5. Petrick's blast makes a winner out of Gabe White. Over Sammy had gone eight games without a home run, but he fixed that, so the stat's gone off Brian Tolberg is 44th of the year. Cubs lead 2-1. Bottom five, Sosa sends that into some kind of low-earth orbit. Second of the game, 45th. He's the major league leader.
three for three. Four ribs. He's got 122 on the year. The Cubs win at 5-1. So, so 22 long balls since the break. Fifth multi-homer game of the season. Phil Nevin, the collar, 0 for 4. Heroics. He's been looking for that all year. Bottom nine tied at two. Terry Adams to Jeff Jenkins. This little shallow fly ball. Alex Cora. No, can't make the play. And then he chucks it over second base. I don't know where that one was going. Jenkins in at second with a double. Next batter, Richie Sexton, who hits everything he sees these days. In the center field, Jenkins rounding third. The throw is, well, it's off. And Jenkins scores, and the Brewers win. It says here in dramatic fashion. I'm not sure how dramatic things are in Milwaukee these days. Ray King picks up his first big league win by and it counts. Pedro sipping some coffee, staying away from the fray. Bottom first, no score. It's Greg Vaughn, and let's go back in time. Back to Tuesday night. Vaughn struck out through the helmet and got tossed. Back to Wednesday's game. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Vaughn off Jeff Facero and off the wall. Ali Ali income free. Russ Johnson coming around. He'll score. The D Rays up 1 0. Vaughn enjoying the action. Bottom three now, tied at one. It's our old friend Gerald Williams. He had a very busy Tuesday night as well. And this is what started it all the mad dash out to the mound to take on Pedro. And it would be some tussling. Back to Wednesday's game. Vaughn with the chopper. Williams coming home and bearing down on Jason Veritek. And watch Williams serve a little forearm shiver right there. Veritek just says, hey, I still got the ball. You're out. Top nine, 3-1 D-Rays. Roberto Hernandez on for the save. On Tuesday night, he was going after Dahlbeck. Push him around, sent him reeling. Wednesday night, he was going after the rest of the Red Sox. Gets Scott Hatterberg looking to end it. And the D-Rays win this one three to one. The fragile piece in St. Petersburg held throughout the night. Albie Lopez kept things quiet, allowing just four hits. He quietly has the second lowest ERA in the American League. Meanwhile, Facero gets sent to the bullpen. Pete Al Ripken, will he or won't he? Only he knows. Juan Gonzalez against Jose Mercedes. Well, that was the cheese. More cheese, and he can't catch up with any of it. Bottom six, one zip Orioles. Base is Chuck. Willie Blair to Albert Bell. Albert Bell inside the line. Brady Anderson, no relation, scores. Melvin Morris scores. RBIs 94 95 for Albert Bell. Top eight Orioles leading five zip. Mercedes to Damon Easley. Called strike three. Easley not happy. And the home plate umpire, Scott Higgins, easily ends this argument by saying, You're done for the night. Go away. You bother me. Top nine Orioles up 5 1. Mercedes looking for the complete game. Bobby Higginson to Chris Richards. That's your final out. Mercedes, 27 outs for the O's starter. Orioles win at five zip. Mercedes, he's a man. Two hitters. Third career complete game. Two of them. To demand these highlights, the rookie Mark Redman pitching to Mike Sweeney with the bases loaded and he unloads them. Nice fountains at Kauffman Stadium. Three runs are going to score. 16 game hit streak for Redman for Sweeney. Sweeney 121 RBIs this year. 6 0 Royals. They get it to 8 zip before blowing the lead to make it 8 7. Ricky Batalico facing Torrey Hunter. And finally, this game is over. Thanks, Joe Rand. A nice pick at third. Royals hold on for a CPR 8 7 win. Sweeney's number strong. 341, 23 homers, 121 ribs. His manager, Tony Muser, he's an RBI addict. Hunter finished two for five.